Assalamualaikum and hi. Today we want to present our proposal, the title "Exploring Quality of Life of a Professional Worker While Furthering Their Studies." Chapter one for introduction. People who are working while studying are actually prepared as they can can the benefit of working experience, useful skill, and knowledge enrichment. According to Tumin and Hamad Faizuddin, many people understandably and feel studying and working at the same time was intimidating. So, they must establish the routine and plan each day ahead of time to get a quality of life. Quality of life encompasses job satisfaction, family life, and others. Next is problem statement. Based on the past research, the research mostly is conducted in other countries but not in Malaysia. So, we decided to conduct the research in Malaysia. Furthermore, most of the studies were only highlighted that the research is commonly conducted among retail workers only but less conducted among professional workers. So, on this research, we want to conduct it for the professional workers like lecturer, business owner, and others. For our general objective is to explore the quality of life among professional worker while furthering your studies. Research objective. This study of general objective is to explore the quality of life among professional workers while furthering their study. The specific objective is that first to understand the causes of professional workers furthering their study. Second, to observe the impact of quality of life among professional workers while furthering their study. Third, to investigate the obstacles of professional workers while furthering their study. And fourth, to explore the strategies that the workers provide in order to achieve the quality of life. Next, I will present about the significance of the study. The study was conducted to benefit researchers, individuals, communities and countries in providing exposure about the professional workers while balancing their life between work and study. Through this comprehensive exploration of the study on quality of life, the main possible reasons leading professional workers to work and study at the same time will be unrivaled, exercise and scrutinized. Moreover, this research will elucidate the impact of quality of life among professional workers while furthering their study. In this regard, this study will give awareness to society about the obstacles that professional workers have face when they work and study at the same time. Moreover, through the understanding made by this study, readers can explore the strategies that the workers provided in order to achieve a quality of life. Additionally, the overview represented in this study will push for new paradigm that will be valuable for future discussions on professional employees' quality of life as well as furthering their research and maybe leading to a more in-depth analysis of, of it. Next, this is about the research framework of quality of life among professional workers while furthering their study as you can see here. From the causes of professional workers furthering their study leads to the impact of quality of life among professional workers while furthering their study and then the obstacles of professional workers while furthering their studies and lastly the strategies that the workers provide in order to achieve a quality of life. For chapter 2, literature review, research has been done of and why professional workers like to further their study at the same time. According to Ansel Musaeva, worker or professional worker who are already working must take the opportunity to further their education because they want to improve the quality of life. Furthermore, according to Sanyush Kalabert, working while studying can also bring negative effect. One of the most debated consequences of working while studying is its impact on student academic performance. Where its impact on academic performance, this causes a lot of anxiety and stress, and there have a quality of life is run. Besides that, based on a combination in several studies, individuals who decided to work while studying must be committed and disciplined. To balance work while study is not easy, especially for employees who have family of their own. It is difficult for them to balance their work and personal life at the same time and also think about their education. In Chapter 3, next is the question of seating. This study will be conducted in the private and public sector. 
This study plans to involve five respondents that are currently working as professional worker while filling their study. Two of them are literate from Unimas and three of them are the manager of Hospital Columbia Asia. This study also will be conducted in a natural setting which is the researcher will have a face-to-face -face interaction. Next is data collection. The researcher function in this qualitative study is to access the participant's thought and feeling based on their response. However, while the data is being gathered, the researcher for job is to protect the participant and their data. Mechanism for such safety must be properly communicated to participants and approved by a formal research equity review board before the study can begin. Furthermore, researchers and practitioners new to qualitative research will get coaching from an experienced qualitative. Moving on to the method of data collection, the method chosen by the researcher in qualitative research includes observations, textual or visual analysis from books or journals, and interviews with groups or individuals. This interview is to gain participants' views, experiences, belief, and motivation of individuals on specific matters. The type of interview is a semi-structured interview. The researchers can create an interview guide that allows them to gain more information during the interview session. This interview will take approximately 30 to 40 minutes. It also aligns the researchers to explore in depth the topic areas to be covered. Description of participant chosen. Participants that were chosen are professional workers such as lecturers and business owners who are currently furthering their studies at a higher level, which are lecturers in Unimas and the manager at Hospital Columbia, Bintulu. Description of type of data collected and analyzed. The researcher will jot down some notes uh, from the participants based on their answers while taking the audio recording at the same time. After that, the audio recording will be transcribed and the information is all then will be coded. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you.